Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's a Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant, sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. Okay. I'm gonna need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. I'm gonna need Molotovs. Corporal Deacon St. John. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John, I'll catch you later.
O'Brien. Come in, O'Brien. I know you're in this chip. Drifter? I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife. The woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. She's being held by uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay, but there's something you have to do for us first. I'll take that. Anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien? Oh, damn it. St. John, you there? Weaver, yeah. I can barely hear you, though. You're breaking up. Oh, this is bad, okay? I'm surprised to send it's out at all. Hey, I know where you can find it. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got over one. Community College, uh, the one east of here off Highway 97. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, the fight the platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tool. Shit, I gotta go. Radio in when you get there. Get out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. Drifter, are you there? Oh, Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? Maybe hit the coordinates I just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. O'Brien. Oh, oh, Jesus. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John. All oh, right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on. These all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole, a big one. They're flying a good old stars and stripes. Patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Here they are. It's gotta be it. There's the flag. Still flying. Sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He 
escape before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. Fields, yes. This is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky, Boozer, can you hear me? Dick in a Lost Lake camp. Come back. Just uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She. Had... God damn it, Ricky! I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said. <laughs> Booze man, Ricky. Well, give him hell, booze man. Give him hell. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it.
A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. Hey, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! You're a lifesaver, dude! Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John! You one of the good ones, man! Brother from another mother. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sergeant. Okay, got it. See you, Corporal St. John.
murdering drifter camp. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. God damn it. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Tell me about this freak you're tracking. We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other. <sighs> well, Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. Freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. O'Brien. How many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. 
Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would say John out. There's another one. Out that way. says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking. Is there something you haven't told me? Not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. Another flare. Gotta be another one of O'Brien's men. Hello? Can you hear me? Moving the arm or something, if you can hear me. Arm? Uh, nope. Neuro equipment. Must have uh, come this way. Uh, maybe this way. says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. <sighs> Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Another flare. There, there's the last one. How am I gonna get to him? Brian, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? So I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky here. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Oh, Brian. I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. One stuff. Keep down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! 
His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No, no, no. Well, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now. Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen! I'm here! I can hear I you! I can't believe it! I thought I'd never hear you more! Oh, listen I can't. to me! We're gonna get you out of here! Do you hear me? Brian, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Shit, they're getting close. Man, it's time to finish these guys off.
Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off.
Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Brian, four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into the blood. Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what a shit. Survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into. But you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Captain Curry tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, we won't be able to catch him. Now we'll just see about that. St. John out. Can use this. You can.
That's it. Gotta take a closer look. Back on track. Colonel, have spotted him. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Ah, we'll just see about that. St. John out. Let's go. No, no, it's back that way.
Colonel, I've spotted him. tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Now we just see Colonel has spotted him. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn the anarchists. Colonel, I've oh, got him. Man. Transmitting the coordinates now. Let's see. Good work, Colonel. Wait! You can't leave me! Do it. The freak! 